Brothers and sisters, our offering this morning is for World Renew Maternal Child and Health uh, Ministries, excuse me. Um, and this is a fantastic ministry where World Renew works with, uh, with people throughout the world to help to improve uh, maternal uh, mothers and their children's health. Um, and, and this has huge benefits, obviously not just for their immediate health, but also for the entire community in which they live. They are often able to partner with various other organizations, and it is just fantastic what they are able to do in God's name on this front. So please prayerfully consider that as you come to God with your offerings this week. Also, uh, on pastoral notes, just wanted to uh, highlight a couple things for you. Uh, Sue, uh, Jake and Sue, Sue's uh, treatments for now have been uh, finished, um, but she is still recovering, and so they are hoping to see a uh, greater improvement in her mobility. But uh, please continue to be in prayer for her and for Jake and for the whole family. Also, please uh, very much be in uh, prayer uh, and praise for Lisa. Lisa has, uh, has recovered pretty much from her bout with COVID and Alan never got it, which is great too. So please uh, praise God for that. And also continue to praise God for how we have not really so far experienced a, a, a lot of difficulty uh, with COVID other than the impact it's had on, on the way we live our lives. And so we are very grateful for that. We ask also that you would uh, pray for uh, Edith. Uh, I was talking with Andy and Edith the other day. Edith um, has some sort of underlying difficulty in addition to the cancer or maybe because of the cancer or we, we just don't know. Um, she is struggling a lot with, uh, with lethargy, with tiredness. Uh, she gets tired very, very easily these days. So please be in prayer for, uh, for her. Uh, please also continue to pray for all of those in our congregation who are struggling with health uh, concerns. Uh, we think of Mark and Henny. Uh, we think of uh, just, yeah, so many people. Um, please also continue to pray with uh, and for those who grieve. Uh, we think of Odie and we think of Dorothy and we think of uh, Sherry as well, um, and, and so many people in our congregation. Please pray for them. Let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so much for this time uh, together, even though we are physically apart. Father, please guide us as we come to uh, the scriptures for the message that you have for us today. Help us to uh, learn what you would have us learn and help us to see what you would have us see and, and hear and, and so on. Uh, Lord, may we, uh, may we grow in the way that you would have us grow and may we live out our faith uh, fully and freely in the power of your spirit. Father, we pray this morning that you would be with Edith and with Andy. Uh, Lord, we pray that you will give doctors wisdom as they try and figure out perhaps what, what underlying condition is going on there. We pray, too, that you will be with Sue and with Jake. Uh, Lord, please bless them and strengthen them. Lord, particularly, we ask that you will be with Sue in, in her recovery that you will strengthen her and take away some of her pain so that she can get on with, uh, with life as she has known it. We pray that you will, uh, you will continue to comfort uh, them and so many people in our congregation also uh, who mourn, uh, who are grieving. Lord, we think in particular this morning of Odie and Dorothy and Sherry in their grief uh, and their families' grief as well. Uh, Lord, please comfort them.
Put your arm around them. Be their good shepherd. And thank you, O oh God, that you are indeed our good shepherd. Father, we pray that you will be with Mark and Henny, uh, Lord, as, as they continue in their health struggles. Lord, thank you for your mercy to them, and thank you for the work of uh, health care workers, uh, not only in their lives, but in, in all of our lives. And Father, we pray that you will bless the work of World Renew, and particularly their, world, their work uh, with regar regards to maternal and child health in this world. May you receive our tithes and offerings as a pleasing aroma, and may it go to multiply the effect of the gospel in this world through your power. And God, we pray that you would guide us again in the rest of this week. We pray it all in Jesus' name. Amen.